Hi, my name is Steve Erickson. I'm a family doctor and a point of care ultrasound enthusiast. When I'm in my office, I scan my patients with this, the Butterfly IQ handheld ultrasound machine. When I'm in the hospital, we use this, the Sonosite Exporte. Sonosite's a company that's been around a long time in point of care ultrasound. This is probably their top of the line model for point of care use and the hospital bought it for a little over $75,000. There's a lot of big differences between that and a Butterfly IQ that you can buy online for only $2,000. And most of the differences you can read about online. But the one thing that's really hard to tell from the company websites is image quality. So to compare the difference, I did the same scan on the same patient, in the same body areas, in the same physiologic state using both this fancy Sonosite and the Butterfly IQ. Here's what I found. To make this a real life comparison, I also started with the company's recommended preset for the area we were scanning. No doubt if you spend a half an hour fiddling with all of the gain and depth and patient position and probe pressure, you'll end up with a gorgeous image. But in real life, you fiddle with these things until you think you have an image that's good enough and move on. So I didn't let myself spend more than 20 or 30 seconds trying to get the best image possible. Let's start with a lung scan. I'll have to admit I was pretty disappointed with the Sonosite machine. I can see lung sliding up there at the pleural margin, but the A-lines are really difficult to make out. Compare that to the butterfly, where I can still see the lung sliding along the pleural line, but the A-lines are crisp, clear, and easy to see. In fairness, Sonosite also has a lung preset on their linear probe, but when I use that, you can really only see the pleural line. You can't have enough depth to see A lines or B lines. I tried to do the same thing with the butterfly, but in retrospect, I was overgained, and it's probably not a fair comparison. Side by side still images are where you can really see the difference. I had a hospitalist colleague tell me that they thought lung ultrasound was one of the more complicated and difficult tasks that they do. And I was surprised to hear that, because for me it seems so easy, but now I understand why. If you use a big, expensive machine that does a lot of post-image signal processing to try to get pretty images, it can filter out those artifacts, which are exactly what you're trying to see when you're looking at A lines and B lines. Let's take a look at the heart. Now as a family doc, I am not that experienced in echo, but with the Sonosite, I think I was able to get a reasonable apical 4 view with the wall motion and relative chamber size displayed here. In comparison, with the butterfly, it was really hard to get both the left and right ventricle into view at the same time, and there's this annoying near-field artifact that was hard to filter out. At the end of the day, the Sonosite wins this one. I think the footprint of the butterfly's probe just can't match a dedicated phased array probe when you're trying to peek between a couple ribs to get your images. Now let's go to the abdomen, starting with the gallbladder. The first thing I noticed with the Sonosite is that the frame rate is a little slow as you're scanning through, so you see a little bit of choppiness as you scan through the organ. The contrast is really good between the brightest white and the darkest dark. In comparison, the contrast isn't quite as good on the butterfly, but in all honesty, I think I can detect stones and gallbladder thickness and pericolic fluid equally well in both of these images. Taking a look at IVC now, the Sonosite gives you a nice clear view of that at the bottom of your screen. The butterfly has a little bit smaller field of view and it may be a little blurrier down at the IVC, but in all honesty I can see the respiratory variation just fine. The bladder is a pretty easy organ to scan. It looks just fine with the Sonosite and I think it looks equally as fine with the butterfly. Now let's do a DVT scan. 
This common femoral vein is a little undergained on the sonocyte. Maybe I'm a little overgained here on the butterfly. Let's straighten those up, put a little color Doppler on there, and the sonocyte, the soft tissues in the near field, the resolution is just incredible. On the butterfly, not quite as good, but frankly, we're getting perfectly good images to make clinical decisions on both machines. So on that question of near field resolution, I thought let's do a scan where that matters. Here we're looking at the median nerve, which is that dotted thing just to the left, about four to five millimeters underneath the surface. You can see the ulnar artery pulsing off to the right of your screen. Here's the same sight with the butterfly. I can see that median nerve four to five millimeters deep in the center of the screen. There's the pulsing ulnar nerve off to the right. We need to zoom in a little closer and the whole thing is a little less crisp, a little blurrier, but I can see all the structures that I need to here and I would have no problem doing a guided median nerve injection with the image I have here. So what did I learn from this little exercise? I think if you do a lot of lung scans, like primary care or urgent care, or if you're outfitting a COVID-19 ward, then butterfly wins hands down. On the other hand, if you want to do advanced echo or maybe some real detailed musculoskeletal work, looking for little partial thickness tendon tears or something, then you'll probably really appreciate having something like a sonocyte. But for most day-to-day -day scanning, either one is going to get the job done. Keep in mind, the sonocyte costs 30 times as much as a butterfly. And when the images look a little better, they are in no way 30 times better. I was also reminded that the person operating the machine is probably more important than which machine you're operating. The best machine for you is the one that you're going to use regularly and practice your POCA skills. I hope you found this video helpful and happy scanning!